Hi guys, it's Ratchet5. I apologize for the minimal amount of um, update videos about the IS9, but um, yeah, we finally have one. It's still going ahead, everything's still happening. Um, I was planning to make a, a, quite a few number of videos about IS9, about a few kind of subject matters, but um, I've been busy and things have been delayed, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm here to announce that, most importantly, you can now just pick Crash Bandicoot and Spyro 3. And Crash Bandicoot 3 and Spyro 1. Um, you can just pick them. Just pick them. You don't have to pick any of the other games. They're the only compulsory games. That's it. But, 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 but. Um, as I'll explain in a video on Spyro, on, on IS9, um, so get to go, go to the link there. It is actually advantageous if you go for and pick one of the three games that, um, that were the sub compulsory games, which are now not compulsory at all. But we're still, it's still going to be similar. It's still going to be a similar kind of thing where um, if you beat that game, you get put in the group. Um, and it's still, it's, it's still advantageous. There's still reasons to do it. There's still absolutely reasons to do it. Um, so don't just say, oh, well, fuck, fuck it. I didn't even need to, you know, worry about the fact that I have to play Bugs Life or whatever. There is still good reasons to actually do this. Um, so. Anyway, go check out um, that video. And um, now the reason now everyone now people are gonna say people are gonna say I know I'm, I know I didn't really explain in the other video because I actually recorded that video first. Uh, people are gonna say that oh no that means that it's just gonna be Crash and Spyro again. But no, that's not how it's gonna work. That's not how it's gonna work. Go check there now. If we kept at the other rule where the um, there were some compulsory games, it actually would have been the same thing. Um, because after round two, after the round two shag and wagon, um, everything just goes back to, um, the normal, that, that way, where Spyro and Crash are the only compulsory games and everything else, uh, because you can't get put back into a group with someone that you've reversed anyway. Um, so it could be possible, I think there might be a slight possibility, I don't know, where, um, people can act actually get put back to someone who has the same game, um, and then that, in that way that they kind of, not necessarily force, but... Um, that has to be like a kind of game option for them to do. I mean, that could happen, sure, but for the most part, um, really, it's just going to go back and crash, to Crash and Spyro after round two anyway. Um, obviously, people could pick any game they want, but it's going to maybe end up where there's a lot of Crash and Spyro played in round three, maybe round four if we're going to have a round four, and then the grand final will most definitely be either Crash three or Spyro one, and this would have nothing would have changed whether I put these rules in or not. Um, because what would have ended up happening was that the grand final would be would have been probably like m made up of two people who had medieval, one person had Bugs Life, and one person had Banjo or something like that. And now it's just going to be made up of one person who has Sparrow Crash, one person has Banjo, one person has medieval, one person has Bugs Life. So it wouldn't have made much difference, really. Um, so I was just thinking on the way home that there really is no point to actually make it like this, where you have to have one of the three games. So from now on, you don't have to have one of the three games. Um, yeah, so more updates will be, more videos and updates will be happening soon, uh, I just have to, there's things I'm waiting for, um, to happen before I make them, um, I think there's like, there was like a few, that's right, I'm gonna make a poll on whether or not you want a fireway grand final, an extra round, or nothing, and we just go with four people, if, if we need it, um, I'm probably gonna make a poll about that, um, there might be a chance that, that, um, the starting of the tournament is delayed by about a week because I've been, as I said, I've been very busy and things have been happening and this is like the only chance I've got to actually make this video um, that for, for ages. So there might be a chance that we delay it for a week. Um, might happen, might not happen, we'll see. Um, but... It, I know, a bit of an issue, but I think like... Seeing as though we only had IS, you know, eight a few months ago, I think that, I think, well, usually the tournaments are only five months difference, like, it's usually July, uh, it's like, usually, it starts in July, with IS 9 actually started in June, and IS 8 started in June, um, July, August, September, October, um, November, December, wait, fuck, hang on, August, September, October, November, December, yeah, five months, yeah, I didn't count my, wait, I didn't count that far. Um, and so now we're doing July, August, September, October, November, so it's still five months. Um, but I think that still, still, I'm, I, I'm a Spearman Raid, 
still kind of lingers on in a very close past. It's kind of still kind of it still feels like it was only a very short time ago, and especially the fact that we have, we have these Me Too tournaments going on with old school speed runs and World Cup speed runs. Like, um, I don't think anyone's in a rush to start the tournament, and also I think that it maybe giving us an extra week won't. It, it might help a little bit in trying to make it a little too um, help the kind of um, what's the word the burnout burnout factor of every, about everything. But we'll see, we'll see. That may happen, that may not happen. But if it does happen, don't be surprised. Um, yeah. So expect some more videos soon. Hopefully, um, maybe they won't be like me sitting in front of the webcam. It might be my shitty laptop webcam or something. But yeah, expect some videos, and goodbye.